Welcome to our third video in our series, Imperfect Characters of Faith, where we get to look at characters in the Bible and their imperfections. For you and I all have our own imperfections, and yet God wants to still use us, and God still wants to work through us. So often we think that Christians have to be perfect, and yet God uses imperfect people to spread his message of love and grace. And today we're going to actually look at a group of people we thought should almost be the best. And that's Jesus' disciples. We often think that they should be the best because he chose them. And yet the disciples in so many ways failed time and time again. But today we get to see something that is really common. I wonder if you've ever had that conversation. Who's the best? Whether it's about a sports player or whether it's about a celebrity or whether it's about the person that you're walking with or the group of people. Who's the greatest? Who's the best? Who's the best at maths? Who's the best at physics? Who's the best at rugby? Who's the best at football? Who's the best at the quiz challenge? Who's the best is almost one of those questions that is heard time and time and time again in the school playground, but it's heard throughout life. And so often we then live our lives in comparison. We're better than X or worse than Y. That sin of comparison is something that just easily creeps in. That thing that just takes our joy away. And, you know, as the disciples said, who's the greatest? Jesus decided to show them something different. And we pick up the story in Mark chapter nine. They came to Capernaum. When he was in the house, he asked them, what were you arguing about on the road? What were you arguing about? Jesus had overheard them. But he says, what were you arguing about? He wanted to bring it home to show them how petty or small it was. Because Jesus wasn't really interested in who was the greatest. Jesus was interested in them being loved and known by God. Each of the disciples, verse 34, kept quiet because on the way they had argued about who was the greatest. So sitting down, Jesus called the twelve to him and he decided to demonstrate this lesson to them. Anyone who wants to be first must be the very last and the servant of all. Jesus wanted to model something. It wasn't about who was the best or who was the greatest in human eyes. It was who is the one who was willing to serve? Who is the one that is willing to care? Who is the one that is willing to promote someone else above themselves? You know, it's often said in leadership, you can get things so far if you don't mind who gets the credit. It's are you willing to promote others above yourself rather than compare and put yourself first? Servanthood is a key characteristic. Humility is a key characteristic. They're fruits of the spirit that the Lord wants to grow in us rather than that. Who's the greatest? Who's the most proud? And Jesus goes on to bring this home in an even deeper way to the disciples. Verse 36. He took a little child whom he placed among them. Taking the child in his arms, he said to them, Who wel whoever welcomes one of these little children in my name welcomes me. And whoever welcomes me does not welcome me, but the one who sent me. In other words, who is the greatest? is the one who in simplicity welcomes Jesus and welcomes God the Father. The one who serves them and the one who shares God with those around. In simplicity, we may look down on the child, but Jesus raised him up and said, look, look, here is who's first. Here is who's the greatest. Be like the child. Put others first. Serve and be humble. And the Lord will raise you up on the last day. Let's just pray. 
Father, we ask that you will help us when we spend so much time comparing ourselves with others, when we try and put ourselves first, when we try and argue that we're the greatest in our minds, even if not in our words. Will you help us to learn to be servants and to place others before ourselves? Will you help us to learn to welcome you and to realize we are all the same at the foot of your cross? May we grow in strength as we serve and promote your love. In your name, amen.